Hello and welcome to this video looking at a walking talking mock um, the uh, circuits high demand questions uh, we're looking at question 9 today or in this video that's uh, question 9 the graph shows how the electric current through a 12 volt filament bulb varies with the potential difference across the bulb okay yep yeah, that looks how I'd expect remember for a filament bulb we're expecting a graph that sort of does that a VI relationship um, the reason it does that it's not straight is because as temperature increases resistance increases uh, which means it's, it's not it's not um, no longer proportional so it's not straight question a what is the meaning of the following terms electric current okay so um, rate of current is the or oh, sorry electric current is the rate of flow of charge Okay, you might also say if you prefer, you might you could um, say use this as an equation. You could say I is equal to Q, which is the amount of charge each second. Okay, so the rate of flow of charge, or the rate of flow of electrons. Normally we'd, we'd say charge because it could also doesn't necessarily have to be negative. Okay, it could uh, or, or electrons could be something else, any charged particle. So rate of flow of charge. The potential difference is the energy. Transferred to or from uh, each charge. Okay, so the energy transferred to or from each charge. Or it, yeah, there's a nice um, straightforward one there. Uh, just thinking you may work on divided by Q. You may have come across that equation there. So potential difference is work done divided by which is energy divided by Q, which is charge. Question B. Um, lots of lines here, so uh, this could be a slightly more interesting question. The resistance of the fil metal filament inside the bulb increases as the P as the potential difference across the bulb increases. Explain why. So it's an explain question. So I need to use maths. Uh, you need my science sorry, and uh, to explain why. Uh, so we have three marks. One, two, three. So after three separate sentence statements. So as the potential difference increases, why does the resistance increase? So first of all, as PD increases, current increases, and electrons move. faster. Okay, so the current increases. Next as current increases temperature of filament increases. Okay, uh, this means that um, ions inside, so the positive ions, remember inside the wire you've got these free electrons dotted around all over the place and you've got the positive ions which is the nucleus of those metals. So they'll start vibrating, ions vibrate more. As the ions vibrate more there are um, so as ions vibrate more, more collisions with electrons. Okay, so there's more collisions with the electrons, which means ultimately that uh, the resistance increases. Use data, okay, so use data, that's a uh, command word, use. So I have to use data from the graph to calculate, another command word, the rate at which the filament bulb transfers energy. The rate at which the uh, filament bulb transfers energy. Now that's a, a fancy way of saying the power. The rate of transfer of energy is power. When the potential difference across the bulb is 6 volts. Show clearly how you work out your answer. 
OK, so I'm going to have to work out the power. Now, to do that, I'm going to, I, need, I uh, need to remember that power is a potential difference times current. I know the potential difference is 6 volts. I have to use data from the graph to find the current. So let me look at the graph, and it's for 6 volts. Now, if the question says use the graph, I have to show that I've obtained, I've used the graph. And the easiest way to do that is to use your, is to use a ruler and draw on the graph itself. So when a potential difference is 6 volts, there's 6 PD, I need to know what the current is. Okay, so I'm going to draw a line up there, and a line straight across there, like that. But I want to demonstrate that I've used the graph because I need to get that. If I don't use the graph, if the examiner doesn't think I've used the graph, then I can't get credit for it. Um, even if I make, even if I write down the wrong answer here, I should still get some credit for it. Um, right, I need to know where each of these cells are. So one, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten squares. Ten squares equals. 0.5 amps so 1 square is 0.05 amps or 2 squares is 0.1 amps and that should hopefully help me work this out so we've got there's 1, 2, 3, 4 so that's going to be 1.1, uh, 1.2, 1.3 1.3 and let me just check Actually, 1.4. Yeah. Okay. So that's 1.3 amps. So I'm going to pop that in, uh, in here. Minus 1.3 amps. So power is six times 1.3, which is equal to six times 1.3 equals. Seven point eight seven point eight watts. Okay. Hope that was useful. Take care, see you soon.